All right, um, AI drones have raced real human pilots for the first time. It's crazy. Um, and people are excited about it. Uh, I'm excited about it. Because it's pretty exciting. Yeah, let's uh, watch gotta, this clip. Yeah. I think if you haven't seen this, prepare to get your freaking mind blown. <laughs> I watched this when it first came out and I was stunned. <laughs> That's Van over hooting like a chimp. He's so excited. Yeah. <laughs> this is, to be clear, this is a computer flying this. <laughs> He's reverted back to his roots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think that face says it all, doesn't it? That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, That's it's the one crazy. thing to think about it and see it on videos, but it's another thing I'm sure to see it in person and to see it, yeah, with like all those guys there and, you know, um, oh. yeah, it's pretty crazy. And basically, so basically this was pre-planned, so um, it uses uh, information to record the track and then does the planning on a computer. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe they had the version that it does on board. They just developed that, but I don't believe they had it there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty crazy stuff that they were doing. Um, the laps were ridiculously fast, and we got a write-up. The other link is a write-up from Tattoo um, about the race, um, and they go over some of the times and stuff. Uh, but basically, um, the times for um, the Saturday 1v1 challenge, uh, Marvin Schnapper was 5.6 seconds, Alex Vanover was 6.7 seconds, and Thomas Petmata was 6.3 seconds. The AI finished in 5.3 seconds time, so 0.3 seconds faster than the fastest racer. Um, 5.1 seconds the next time, so 0.2 seconds faster than its last time, and then crashed out on the third one. Yeah, um, and I, I love this twist that Vanover did, won. He, he basically cheated, but hey... He blocked the the gate so that AI sensors detected a fault and then crashed. It's like, <laughs> hey, that's a win for humans. That's how we're gonna have to beat these these killer drones. We're gonna have to find their weaknesses and de defeat them. Um, yeah, so it's pretty crazy, man. They uh, and then they they did some more stuff. They drilled down um, to different brains, so they only had one brain working on it, one camera um, instead of multiples to more emulate a human. And they were still getting some great times on that, but were beaten a couple times by humans on that on those runs. And then for the final set of runs, um, they did a final round. Uh, Vanover got five point two, five point two eight. Bimata got five point four eight, and the AI got three point five three after dialing in everything, nailing everything down and doing a final Hail Mary run. That's Pretty insane. Crazy. That's insane. Yeah, full, and here's, it was able to shave off like, yeah, two seconds by by dialing in and analyzing what everybody talked about. And, yeah, yeah, pretty wild. Here's the interesting thing about this. Uh, I, I feel fairly comfortable saying that Vanover, Bitamata, and pilots like them are in, in, in close to, if not the pinnacle of FPV drone racing. Whereas this freaking computer is just like, you know, baby level. It's only going to get better. So, yes. uh, you know, like there was a time when a computer couldn't beat a human at chess and that time has passed. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty close. But it's worth pointing out, Blunty, this was all done. The route was pre-planned and they had like position sensors in the room. It was not onboard processing and I'm not even sure it was real time process. I mean, obviously it was doing it real time not, processing not, of the drone's position. Yeah, it was not real time. It was right. just, yeah, yeah. So you, you um, couldn't just, sh you you could show Van over a new track he'd never seen before and like the on but, his fifth lap, he'd get a great time. But the computer I remember, it can do that though because we looked at that already on the like what two months ago on the news we looked at the version that has uh the the jetson on it and it has a so it uses external sensors but it uses internal programming and logic to yeah. do all the flying yeah um, so they, they do have a version of that it's just brand new and it's from the same people uh, who mm. did this the university of zurich so yeah okay it still needs yeah. the external sensors i need to i need this blunty don't take this away from me well there it that's still the has the external position sensors. It's not doing image processing like a human, right? Correct. Yeah, that's okay. the next version they're doing. Is they're doing the they're telling yeah, me they're working everything on, on the board. Right. Yeah. Now. The next goal. The next goal they said in the last paper was everything on board. I think. When do they add the machine guns and the shock yeah. collars? 
I'm not sure. It won't be okay. the University of Zurich, but yeah. Uh, Good point. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> University of Houston. University of Dallas. I feel like uh, drones with shot collars would come out of Texas. I don't know. It just seems. Texas, that's not insulting, right? You're, you're, the Texans are all out there going, yes, damn right. <laughs> OK. 